clear the air. That is the rally cry from one environmental group tonight. Five Texas refineries exceeded the federal pollution limit on benzene in 2021. That according to the Environmental Integrity Project analysis. Total Energies in Port Arthur made their list. 12 News reporter Amelia White talked to people who worry about the emissions of cancer causing chemicals. Yes, my aunt died from the pollution. She died from cancer. And prostate cancer. And uh, I've been now five years, going on six years, uh, cancer free. So. Stories of cancer ravaging Port Arthur families are common. Yes, I've had several family members, uncles, aunts, cousins. A story Port Arthur native John Beard has heard many times. After 38 years in the petrochemical industry, he realized his paycheck came with a price. It was worth it because of what it enabled me to do working in a refinery to help myself and help my family. But I realized it was a danger. The big danger, benzene, a well-known cancer-causing chemical, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. A chemical that billows into the air from Total Energies. In 2021, five Texas refineries exceeded federal pollution limits of benzene, according to the Environmental Integrity Project, a nonprofit environmental advocacy agency. According to their report, Total Energies is second in the state to exceed limits with 17.7 micrograms of benzene emissions levels. The federal threshold is 9.0 micrograms per cubic meter. Benzene is a very common byproduct of the refining process. It's also highly toxic. Eric Shaver is the executive director of the Environmental Integrity Project. If you're exposed to pretty small amounts over a long enough period of time, that will increase the risk of your getting cancer. ProPublica, an investigative journalism agency, mapped cancer rates across the nation with data from the EPA. The nearly 73,000 Port Arthur and Groves residents are sitting in a cancer hotspot where Total and other refineries live. That if you landed in Port Arthur and talked to any person of adult age and asked them this question, that they know of anyone who either had cancer or died from it or has had treatment for cancer, you would not find a single person who would tell you they know of no one like that. We reached out to Total about their efforts to reduce benzene. A spokesperson with Total said in the last six months, the company's air monitoring results are 25 percent below the EPA's limit. Total also said it's invested 1.2 million over the last year in projects to lower benzene emissions. The Environmental Protection Agency released a statement to 12 News stating the agency has initiated several investigations of facilities to determine the reason for the elevated benzene emissions. The agency will continue enforcement. Those folks didn't sign up to be exposed to those releases and toxins that come from these facilities. Now retired, Beer considers himself an advocate. He's taken on the role of executive director of the Port Arthur Community Action Network. Companies have a responsibility not only to their employees, but those who live outside of the fence line who didn't sign on to work inside that plant. In Port Arthur, Amelia White, 12 News.